What is the first kick you should learn in MMA? It's the roundhouse kick. The roundhouse kick can be thrown low to the calf, a little bit higher up to the quad muscle, midsection to the ribs, or all the way up high to the head. So it's very versatile in terms of its range. You can go low, medium, and high. When you start low, you know, maybe you don't feel the first four or five, but it's like an investment. It pays dividends near the end of the fight. After you've been hit with about 12, 13 of those, it starts affecting your movement, and without the proper footwork, you can't distance, you can't manage the distance, right? And that's a very important aspect of fighting that I talked about in the earlier videos. Also, these low kicks, low kicks, they can help you set up that fight ending high kick, right? Low, 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 the opponent just keeps thinking low kick, low kick, and maybe eventually they try to catch a low kick, the high kick comes, boom, ends the fight. Step one, you want to start from the ground up. So your footwork is important when you're throwing the roundhouse kick. Start by step opening up. This helps prime your hips. Think about like stretching an elastic band. You're like, tightening, 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 and then you're just going to release, boom, and that's what snaps the kick. So I step, open, and I fire. Number two, you want to make sure you're rotating your hips over. We don't want to pretend like we're kicking up towards the sky. We want the energy, the impact of the strike to go through our opponent. So start by step opening the toes and then turn your hips over all the way to the side as you throw the kick. Make sure that you're returning to your stance. If I were to throw the kick and then be off balance, this isn't good. That's an opportunity to get attacked. Your opponent can do some damage on you. So make sure if you throw the kick, you're ready to fire back. You're in your stance where you're ready to go. You want to make contact with your shin, your tibialis bone here. If you were to make contact with your foot, let's say you connected your foot to the elbow. If you've ever done that in training, you know how painful that could be, even with shin guards on. Your phone has 26 small, fragile bones that can easily be broken, right? If we're not wearing shin guards, we have to connect with the strong bone of the tibialis, not the small, weak, fragile bones in the foot key points to throwing the roundhouse kick. Number one, step out 45 degrees. You want to prime your body from the ground up. So make sure you use your footwork to help you set up the roundhouse kick. Number two, turn your hips over. A lot of times uh, the beginner students, they tend to kick up towards the ceiling. You want to actually be turning your hips all the way over towards the wall. Number three, return to your stance. You don't want to be caught um, out of your stance where you're off balance. You have to return to your stance where you're ready to fire. And number four, make contact with the shin. If you ever hit your foot in training, you know how painful that is. So make sure you're making contact with the big tibialis bone. To continue learning, please check out the next video on knees and please remember, like, share, and subscribe.